I'll show you how to make uh, this proportional divider in aluminium. It's much easier than you think. Hi, my name is Tatiana and I like to paint. This is what we're gonna do in this video. First, I'm gonna buy an aluminium flat bar. Then I'm going to cut two identical pieces. I'll join the two pieces together with masking tape. I mark it, I'll saw it, I'll file it, drill holes. And then I'll cut a small drawer knob in two, remove the masking tape and put together the pieces. Let's begin. I went to a hardware store and um, bought an aluminium flat bar. They can have many different names. The important thing is that it's a bar made of aluminium. It's very easy to saw and drill and shape and file and bend aluminium. So I suggest you buy that for your first proportional divider. You'll need a sturdy table or bench to work on and at least two clamps. The clamps are important because otherwise it will be too difficult to saw in the metal. I used a coping saw with a normal blade that can saw through wood and metal. I made two pieces about 30 centimeters long. Then I wrapped the two aluminium pieces together with paper masking tape so I could saw through them together. It saves time, it simplifies and also I can draw and make marks on the paper masking tape. I made two points on the metal bar. I winged it. I just wanted two points, one narrow and one long.
This is a basic file and it works well both on wood and on a metal like aluminium. The marks uh, where I wanted the holes and the holes need to be uh, not too large for the screw. That is important. I made a template with paper to mark the distance between the holes. Then I drilled holes through the aluminium. The screw of the drawer knob was far too long. It drove me crazy trying to screw and unscrew it, so I decided to cut it in half. And finally, I just removed the masking tape and assembled the proportional divider. I really recommend you to make one of these in aluminium. It's a fun and easy thing to do, much easier than you think. I am not used to work in metal, but still I managed to finish this tool. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you are inspired to make one of your own.